Hi, I'm Brian Peach, and as you can see, I have a little bit of excess fuzz. We're gonna take care of that today with the experts at Selvridge Barber. All right, here we go. Well, this is veteran barber, Fernando, and he will be taking care of me today. Uh, Fernando, how you doing? Hi, James. Ryan, hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, doing but uh, you know, clearly this is uh, getting a little bit unruly, and I think we're going to need to take care of it. Uh, I'm pretty new to the beard game. I've never okay. let it grow this long, but uh, I kind of like it. I like beards. You know, I've always been maybe a little bit intimidated by right. uh, by the idea of growing it out because when I do, I end up with a uh, it's sort of a cross between Grizzly Adams okay. meets uh, Chia Pet. Kind of build off. But I don't want to look like I'm headlining for a grunge band. You know, I, I want to keep it neat, tidy, professional. You know, something I can go to work uh, with, and and everybody's you know not going to assume that I just uh, uh, you know finished a, a week long vendor uh, without any personal you know maintenance. So um, let's let's see what we can what we can do with it. If you want to start to grow that beer at the beginning of the stage, you might find it a bit itchy. But let it grow it. Keep putting a moisturizing cream at home. Moisturizing feel a bit itchy because the moisturizing will calm down the red, redness and also the itchiness, okay? And then so you can come to the barber shop to maintain the proper shape. And uh, after the beer trim, I would suggest the two to three weeks to come back. So in the meantime, after the, the proper barber beer trim, you can go back home, follow my guideline for the outline here underneath part and the cheat line area and hopefully you can come back to two weeks, every two to three weeks and keep, keep growing the shape and keep maintaining the nice shape. So guys who want to grow their beer and they don't know what kind of beer shape they want. So it's very suggesting to go to the barber, tell them what kind of, uh, because the chi line can go with the narrow one, the wider one, and also for something like uh, the hair behind the jaw, you can't really do it. So the barber can do the shape for you first, okay? And do you follow the guideline and maintain it at home maintain to do the beers and to clean up for the next mix and cut. The preparation is very important. Okay, so I uh, would suggest you use uh, hot water to clean up your face and the neck first. And uh, because the hot water can open the pores. So, and also second thing is to uh, follow your, your, uh, your grain. And uh, don't cut opposite the grain, otherwise it will cause the razor burn. Okay, and after that, use a cold towel, a cold towel to close the pores and, uh, and also apply some uh, moisturizing cream. Here we are a week later, and uh, I've been growing out the beard and following Fernando's advice. You know, it, it doesn't look too much scruffier than it did, uh, you know, after he was finished. I like that. I wanted it to, to stay nice and clean. As, uh, as long as possible, but uh, I'll probably head back every, every couple weeks, uh, you know, just based on how it's looking.